I want you to know that it's real. It's real. It's very real. As as horrible as it sounds, it's very real. Um, I think it's disheartening. I think it's 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 a very terrible thing. It's horrible, really, because especially when you you don't have an idea of how hard the person has worked to get to the point where they are, how much effort they have put in developing themselves, and then you bring something as as ridiculous as skin tone to you know ruin their effort is 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 brutal. Is sad. I have experienced. Um, it's in the industry when I started um, I've literally I've literally seen a DOP lash out at me for being dark skinned and he's like oh go and tone your skin you're too dark for the camera like it's my fault that you're not experiencing your lighting or you're not experiencing your directing and then you know he, he, he got to me in different ways and it was just God that helped me you know to um, hold on to myself and say look it doesn't matter i'm dark skin i'm dark skin and there's nothing anybody can do about it or take it away from me but not everybody's as strong as as i could be there's some people that have been discriminated because of their skin color and and that's it that's the end of their career that that's it for them so and then to think of think of it that even the the directors or the producers who should be enlightened who should um know better are the ones that are involved in it's very ridiculous people refer to me as light-skinned and yes i am light-skinned <laughs> people have walked up to me to ask me if what uh skincare routine i use or what cream i use and to be frank i do not use anything on my skin and so over the years i've had to deal with teasing jesting and compliments from my skin color in fact while i was in secondary school in gss2 i had to go on the low court afro and my classmates used to tease me calling me lion or lioness because of the color of my hair professionally i've not really had a problem as an artist the only major problem i've had is while recording people tell me oh you are so light-skinned we have to really watch the kind of lights we're using with you but the outright rejection i got was from a famous filmmaker who said to me you fit this role perfectly but i cannot use you because you are fair and yoruba women are not known to be light-skinned and at that point i wished i could be dark-skinned <laughs> Growing up, my mom actually thought she was going to have a light complexion child because she's really light. My dad is dark. She used to make fun of me, saying, oh, maybe it was all the stout she drank when she was pregnant that made me dark and everything. But I've always been dark. Even in school, I've been referred to as maybe the most darkest girl in my class. Um, I've not really had any issue with my skin color. I don't think anybody has ever discriminated about my skin color. I've always been complimented. Oh, I like your dark, your, your color, your black. If I walk into somewhere, blacky, this one, that one. Talking about skincare products, I don't use anything serious per se. I just use the normal coconut oil. I use the um, carob based soap. And then I scrub my body from time to time. Um, but before, in the past, I've tried organic pr products for dark skinned people. But apparently, maybe because of the chemicals that were in it and everything, it tried to tone me up a bit. Once I noticed that it's doing that to my skin, I stop it. I've always been complimented about my dark skin color. Even my mom that is fair, she wishes that she had my color. And I don't wish to change it. This, this is me. I really don't think people should um, totally bleach their skin. Now, the idea is this now, uh, the camera we use these days are more high-tech cameras, which means that on the average, you need to have a good skin color. You need to have a good, clear skin. You no, know? So if you are black, I mean your black needs to be nourished. That's the word. If you are other fair or stuff, your skin needs to be nourished because uh, nobody wants to put an impoverished person on the camera, especially if it's not a horror film. Do you understand what I'm saying? So basically, I don't think anybody needs to do anything extra rather than taking care of yourself. You know what is good, what is taking care of yourself, and what is extreme, you know, trying to change your color. I'm not saying changing your color, I'm saying let your skin look nourished.
you know so um basically i don't think people need to bleach bleach right i don't know the name for it but i think you need to take care of your skin you need to uh make sure your skin is well nourished and that's what you need for the industry my siblings and all we're all fair my mom is dark but apparently none of us got the dark gene so we took my dad's gene so it's like a fair family if you want to come to our site or my house or to look for my dad just ask just you don't need to go far i'm looking for a guy yellow and they just point to direction to our house it's that's very he's very distinct. i've actually not had any reason to bleach my skin i love my skin color but the fact that it's very obvious when i have one particular um very big acne or something the pimple and it's all over it's usually very obvious aside that i've not really been discriminated um with my skin color but i have gotten a row because of my skin color rather i get compliments from people i've been chikes because of my skin color before actually they'll tell you at first like oh yeah actually cute and i like the fact that you're fair as well and i'm like oh thank you but it was just one year yeah somebody like that you know sense <laughs> for some reason i don't really see myself as light skin personally but i've had a lot of instances where people say i, I cannot say that you're a dark skin person and all that maybe because in my family we have the light skinned people and i'm like part of the dark ones so i just see myself as a very as not like a very dark skin person but like dark and um i haven't been stereotyped to my face i've not had anybody like probably say something negative you know to my face i mean i'm not going to say that people will not talk um positive will probably just be like oh you look very good on camera like your skin tone is good on camera and stuff or in pictures i mean sometimes just if i feel myself when i see myself for pictures i think that is one positive thing I like about my skin. Like it suits, it's sweet to see on screen. So, um, but negatively, no. But I've heard and I've seen instances where people feel like light-skinned people are just dumb, like they don't have sense. So, and that's not how it is. You're not going to judge somebody's skin tone as well. That's what God gives the person as how the person would come off so yeah positively yes of course people have praised me but negatively no being black i've experienced a lot of intimidation from people i can remember while growing up some guys or some women they normally call me in yoruba language some called me ajadudu some called me babadudu i rub cream sometimes i go organic while at times i use any other cream but i don't have a a particular cream I used, I douse on my body. This issue of black pain, people are called racist because that's what racist actually teaches. They see light as good and they see dark as evil. In church, we acted a particular play, just all these morality plays in the church. I was asked to play a part of the devil. When the woman asked me to do that, I was like, Mommy, why are you giving me this dress? said, because you are black. I'm proud to be black because I know that black is beauty. And being of my color is a very much of advantage to me. I don't know about any other person, but as for me, it's a, it's a great advantage for me and my kid sister. People calling some people Afi, Abino. Personally, myself, if I want to introduce myself to somebody, I will firstly call myself that name. I don't like discrimination because I don't discriminate myself. Even at work, when they say, ah, those people should do this, I will say, ah, for them to do it, let me also participate from what they are doing. I can't do it. That's because of my color. I was wearing a short maternity gown at the office. So one of uh, our staff now came to, ah, Kathy, we cannot be wearing this one. Blah, blah, blah. I said to her instantly, I said, what stop me from wearing this? Say, hey, because we are here. Fortunately, someone pregnant at the same time was passing by and wearing something shorter. And I said, I look at her and say, hey, she's dark. I said, no, don't tell me because she's dark. She has the privilege. We, are, we all have the same privilege. While growing up, yes, I have um, relatives that called me um, Blackie. He had to do, but it never actually have any effect on me anyway. At times you feel down that people are calling you Blackie. Okay. You see people that will be like, are you a Ghanaian? Or, and I would just laugh at them and say, no, I'm actually from Kenya. I don't um, usually um, rub cream or have a particular cream that I use like that. At times I use oil 
at times i use body cream depends on my mood i don't actually believe in bleaching and i don't ever i won't even ever think of trading my skin for another color but um, with time seeing um, other people appreciate my color because at times you also see the people that will be like oh your skin is very lovely um, black is beautiful don't ever use cream or damage your your screen that also actually helps to give more confidence in um, and they'll um, believe in in my skin when i was growing up in my wood then i didn't really like my darkness because i always felt like ah, i'm always very shy like when most people just come like ah how about you do a little learn you know this kind of stuff I just, ah. during my university year so we're having a kind of relation with my faculty so people were just trying to distinguish me from every other diary so somebody just mentioned you don't know that diary black so from there people start calling me diary black and I fell in love with the name. So sometimes in life, when you don't, when you don't value your color, you tend to feel that you are not up there with others because you look different. But that is not the true story of life, you know. So you feel, you feel, you feel down. Sometimes if you can feel the press. Is, is being black or being dark is it a crime or is it something like you know, like is it something that when you are dark, like you are you are not accepted in your society? A friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. Whenever we are in, a, maybe we having a kind of a reading together, so you will be like ah. Daddy, you are too dark. Oh, Jesus Christ, you need to join police. You don't need uniform, you just be walking the cage. You don't need uniform, your face and everything. It's just like Nigeria police uniform. <laughs> the moment you, you, you become more enlightened about life, color, and everything, you realize that there is nothing. Life itself is opposite of everything. There must be contradiction in everything in life. If you have white, you have to have black. I think the production and the producer and also the scriptwriter has put together an amazing piece you know, addressing societal issues using comedy um, and also realistic situations, you know, that we all face in the community or in our environments. Um, the play addresses issues of um, tribalism, issues of racism, um, also talks about topics on bleaching and all the rest, skin tone, basically. And I think the audience would go home um, with the sense of um, a better understanding about how people react to these things and how people really see um, how people really see skin tone and how people actually people's view um, on different topics from this performance. Um, the play is not trying to suggest what can inform the audience on the things that are happening. So they are going to enjoy themselves, they would laugh, uh, but the message is more for the audience to be awakened on topics like this because a lot of people don't speak about it uh, in our society. Yes, we had this idea, Green Body. What did we, what do we want to talk about? We want to talk about um, a skin tone, the color of the skin. How do we want to talk about it? And so we said, guys, you know what? Let's put this setting at the backyard of a house. You know, my face me, I face your house where people wake up in the morning and it's not like they really have where to go. So it's from one banter to another, one banter to another. And um, when we looked at this idea, we said, okay, how do we now want to communicate this um, on our communications material? What do we want people to see when they see uh, our billboards out there, our social media, the flyers? And basically we said, you know what? We want to communicate laughter and confidence that is what we want to communicate that's what we want to have you see okay so basically be confident in your skin be confident in who you are because in skin tone basically we're dealing with issues of bleaching um issues of tribalism and so all these are embedded in the play so these are things that we wanted to touch and we thought the best way to put it is bring these crazy guys and put them at the backyard oh boy may them take them out finish each other but trust me on the tone we have very wonderful messages that are there discrimination is not just based on skin color you know, your complexion and all that you know it also um, involves um, size yeah because aside just your color looking green or looking fair or whatever there are sometimes that people also make derogatory statements like you know the usual olobo or aquewa or stuff like that do you understand so issues of skin doesn't just involve color alone it has to do with size and for me well right now many people say that um they they like my confidence in myself but it wasn't always there honestly i have 
faced discrimination in school, in church, even in the industry before I got to where I am now, before I became this confident girl that everybody admires. And sometimes I have people even stopping on the road to tell me like, like you're really beautiful, I like your size, I like the fact that you carry yourself well. I didn't always used to be there, right? Sometimes it comes naturally to some people, when they see you, you are big, they call you horrible. But sometimes it has different effect. It doesn't always have a good effect on the mind of the person. So for me, it's, it's, um, it just goes beyond the color of our skin it, it goes as far back as your waist even as a slim person too they still talk to them like a lack of stainless or bunga fish or something i think we need to find somehow one way or the other to caution it because of um, uh, this mental um thingy not everybody is strong we didn't just wake up one morning to say we want to do a play called cream body on skin colors and discrimination cream body actually um was birthed through our research lab at the Frats Festival in 2020. The Frats Festival is an international festival based in Berlin by a company called Theatre ON. As part of our projects, as part of our cultural exchange, we regularly um, partner with such institutions across Europe, Africa, and around the world. And um, I remember in 2020, in 2019 actually, the work started. We were to participate at the festival in 2020 on the research laboratory and we were to talk about um, research on the subject of skin tone on colorism on racism stereotype discrimination and bleaching and how, how it affects identity as a whole so that's how we were we worked here because we couldn't travel in 2020 so we're at the office here we did a lot of research with the entire team we worked on skin tone we came across quite a lot of things and then through the research after the research we created a performance for children called colorful which was premiered in berlin we created skin and then for teenagers and then we create cream body for adults for the nigerian audience and we're also in the process of making more works from this research